back to the Barnes Boys podcast. As you can see, I have taken over the intro because I've been carrying these last few episodes. So we're just going to dive right into it. We're talking about uh, Drake, Jimmy Butler, NBA Media Day, the NFL, and uh, our favorite segment, Factor Cap. And then we got some copper drop. Now moving on to pop culture news. Tupac's murder has officially been arrested after almost three decades. Uh, I just want to say it's about time. Drake got more beef again because he's light-skinned and doesn't know how to keep people out of his mouth. In his new song, 8 AM in Charlotte, he took a shot at an anonymous rapper. We don't know. Some people saying it's Kanye. Some other people are saying it's NBA Youngboy. Who do you think it is? I'm gonna go with Kanye. 21 Savage has officially gotten his green card after a long battle. Drake raps about it in his new song, 8 AM in Charlotte. Congratulations, congratulations. Uh, speaking of Kanye, a video of Kanye has been leaked claiming that Cardi B is a plant or something. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. Does he plant. just be speaking to speak, bro. I don't it, know. What, what, do you, plant. what do you say? An industry plant? Yeah. That's cute. That's cute. I don't know what that means. I mean, he's done worse. Yo, Kanye, shut your ass up, bro. What are you saying? I don't care about the Illuminati or the industry plant, bro. Cardi B is Cardi B. Uh, Lil Wayne dropped a new album. It's called The Fix Before the Carter Six. It's tough as hell. Mainly because my name you is in it. To it. Like I was saying, shout out Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? By the way, where's our birthday present, bro? It's been like, two years. Uh, you said that you gonna hook us up with gear, and then two years later, we had no gear. Sorry for the wait. Six years after going bankrupt, Toys R Us is back and opening 24 stores across America. About time. I'm hype, bro, I'm hype. I don't care that I'm turning 15, bro. The first Toys R Us I see, I'm rating it. I'm telling you, bro, OG has nightmares in that place, bro. Ask my dad how much money he spent. OG, how much money he spent? Thousands. thousands and thousands. Tens bro, I'm of talking, thousands. I'm talking trains when we were three, Got Thomas wrestlers. the Tank Engine, wrestlers, Nerf guns, Ninja Turtles, you name it, we probably bought it one time. Anything in tw 2012 to 14, we had it. We had it. Webster's Dictionary. All right, 2023, that messed up Webster's Dictionary. They added, uh, about 700 new words, 690 to be exact. Uh, we got some phrases including, um, got mid, got goaded, we got, uh, we got W Riz, we got bussin', we got simp, and we got whatever, what does it say? Uh, bracketology? That's not a word. It's not a word. You didn't have to add that, but like, who said that? Back in 2012, this brand that we like, right? I'm pretty sure we all like it. It's called Hostess. They went bankrupt back in 2012. And now, 12, 11 years later, they got bought out. $5.6 billion with a B. Um, in honor of it. In honor, delicious. Got that on his shirt too. What a guy. Shout out to KD and Boardroom. Just released the most valuable apparel brands. So of course, we got Nike up top with 31 billion. These are all Bs, by the way. All billions. Next, we have Louis Vuitton with 26 billion. Then we got Chanel for uh, 19 billion. We got Gucci for 18 billion. Then we got Adidas with uh, 15.6 billion. Next, we on basketball. We're still laughing at Jimmy Butler for being emo, even though we show up to practice with Braze the next day. I don't know how that works, but um, I don't know what he's doing anymore. Cause I swear, like last year. He was like Jamaican or something. Yeah, he had his hair like with his, Yeah, and now he's emo. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. You always doing something crazy. First athlete in the U.S. Forbes 400 list, uh, Michael Jordan coming in at three billion. Jesus. After selling his majority stake of the Hornets and earning 260 million in annual royalties from Nike. Damn. How much do you think Nike making? A lot. What is a lot? I mean, if they valued number one in boardroom, they, they gotta be making money, right? Hornets launched first of its kind jersey patch deal with Mr. B Snack Company, Feastables. Um, I'm not sure how much money he paid to put it on the jersey. How much money does he have? We're reacting to Luca. We're, act we're reacting to the best score in the NBA. This is this in Dubai, right? 2020, yeah. yeah. That one! Nice, Luca. What a guy. I what got hasn't he done? Luca finna win MVP. All right, so Damian Lillard, he's filing for divorce after only two years of marriage to his uh, college sweetheart. I don't really know what to say. That's tough. 
Like, I don't wish nothing bad on you guys. I'm cool with you. I don't know about him. He said something about the Bucks. I apologize. Bucks 2024. Uh, just sending prayers out to them. Ho hopefully it goes smoothly. Joel Embiid has decided to play for the USA team in 2024 in the Paris Olympics. I'm not even finna watch the Olympics because I know the outcome. Like, yeah, I think we all do. Might as well just fast forward now. Just give them the gold medals. Now moving on to NFL, the Taylor Swift effect update. I don't know what to call it anymore. It's Taylor Swift. Um, Travis Kelsey thinks the NFL is like overdoing it on the Taylor Swift coverage. Tra bro, she gave y'all 27 million viewers, bro. Y'all be aight, all right? She be aight. Patrick Mahomes was outdone by Zach Wilson. And Zach Wilson is the first opposing QB to outperform Patrick Mahomes in college and in the NFL. Patrick, what's going on, bro? I mean, I know it's one game, but like, to Zach Wilson? There's, there's this clip in the NFL. <laughs> um, so, Kirk Cousins, right? The quarterback of the Vikings, he threw a pick and then later got laid out for trying to um, tackle the dude that he threw a pick to. <laughs> he tried to run him down. Kirk, bro, damn. Hey, he moving, though. Just, he moving, but yeah, dude moving <laughs> dude faster. Came damn! <laughs> Tom Brady's, Tom Brady's <laughs> Jesus final Christ. game jersey is hitting auction. And um, it said that it's going to sell to up to $2.5 million. OG, how much did y'all last game jersey go for? <laughs> so now moving on to Factor Cap. If we get it right, we get a bell. If we get it wrong, uh, well, you're going to see our reaction. All right, all right. Cows from different herds have different moves. I'm going to go facts. I'm going to go facts, too. Um, yeah, is it fact? That makes sense. Definitely. The, the first, first three-point shot in NBA history was in was when OG was born <laughs> uh, by Larry Bird. Cat. I wasn't born in your <laughs> uh, but you were conceived in that year, so. True. But it wasn't by Larry Bird, so Cat. I'm also gonna go Cat. <laughs> I was <laughs> born that year. Basketball is the national sport of Lithuania. Probably true Probably because true. of Luka Doncic. kick. Back three for three. Yeah. Got 1979 over there. <laughs> he retired from the NBA in 2016. God damn you old. All right, um, Cap, he retired in 2017 after he won a ring. Yeah, Cap, 2017. Because we have the ring. Nice. Only got one shoe on top of the drop, and then we're going to show y'all some, some, some of our very nice shoes. sneakers from NBA Media Day, all right? So, first, we got the Nike LeBron 21 black and particle gray. Uh, cop. I cop. Yeah, those are nice. The top three sneakers from the NBA Media Day, rated by the Barnes Boys. So we picked three shoes that uh, we thought were our favorites. <laughs> hey, speaking of shoes, all the people in my dad's phone, can we get some shoes, please? We got uh, we got my pick. We they're mostly Kobe's. Then we have my pick. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> To another, uh, Carter to another Barnes very podcast. interesting, to another joking. very interesting episode of the Carter Barnes Lil Wayne Descendant podcast. All right, Lil Wayne Descendant. Yeah, yeah. Because right. um, thank you. All right, thank you. Finally.